All right, I'm going to now take out this plumbing and uh, I'm going to take out this whole tub surround. So one of the first things, I'm going to unscrew this. I need an Allen wrench for that. I'm going to go ahead and pop this off. pipes I can see go straight down and they're a little bit back so I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this out a bit. So I have this area exposed now, so I can get my cutters, my pipe cutters, cut off that top spout that's coming up. I'm going to go ahead and leave this old assembly in place, that way it'll hold the water at bay. I can still keep the water on and get uh, access from the sinks and toilet while I'm doing my demo. And uh, then uh, one of the first projects is going to be to come in take this out and uh, that'll be another walkthrough where I use some uh, new technology called the Shark Bite, which allows you to integrate your copper plumbing in with PVC uh, and it's just a push on fitting so there's no welding or anything like that. I can replace this entire plumbing for about less than 20 bucks and uh, I can do all the labor in less than half an hour. So it's pretty easy. The toughest part is going to be ripping out all this fiberglass it's going to come out in huge messy pieces and I'm going to have to cut it up with the saw and that hammer. So that'll be next. Alright, so I'm going to take my sawzall, reciprocating saw here. I already marked a line, so I have a straight line here. And I took my uh, razor blade and cut along the top so that I'll preserve the ceiling when I take this apart. Uh, but I'm going to rip this whole thing out. And, uh, here we go. Checking the electrical back here. Looks looking good.
do these bass notes. shower top. These uh, copper cutters work pretty well. Super easy to use. You don't really need any experience to know how to cut a copper pipe. Just do uh, about a quarter of a turn, spin it around a couple times, and it's going to slowly cut into that pipe. I can spill a little water out when I get through. Nope. Clean. And it's just this little copper pipe cutter. Pretty simple little tool. So now this is free. Let's see if I can separate this piece of sheetrock. side that supports the framework. Got to get the piece out, it's wedged in there. Maybe if I cut this piece of sheetrock off, 
make it easier to loosen. This part I'm going to keep. I'm just got a big crack on it. That's okay. Finished off with the utility. I didn't want to go too deep with the reciprocating saw. I already checked to make sure there wasn't electrical, but you still have to be careful when you're cutting somewhat blindly behind the wall. So we've got separation. This is a long video. Maybe I'll do it and fast forward a little bit. So you can see what we did here. There's the shower. It's just kind of tacked up there. Here's the plumbing. We separated it right there. And uh, later on we're going to cut right here and here. That's where the shark bites are going to go. You can see down here we have our only electrical. It was going back here so we already checked to make sure. That was safe to cut. So, in the interest of not making a crazy long video, I'm gonna stop it there, and uh, I'm gonna repeat that for these three panels, rip those off, and then, uh, I don't know if that bathtub's gonna wanna come out in one piece, I might have to cut it in half, hopefully not, because it's nice and thick. Uh, bite.